Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. So a new tank has dropped into the store. The TS5. A tier 8 premium tank. It's a tank destroyer and it sits in the American line. But before you all go rushing out there to try and find this thing, well, I'm going to do this video on there's everything you need to know about this tank. So the first thing you need to know, how do you get your paws on this thing? Well, unfortunately, it comes in a crate. Yeah! But not for gold, dear viewers. No, for real, real cash. Wowzers. And it ain't going to be cheap either, if you want to guarantee the tank. Okay, admittedly, there are charms. That's very nice. But normally, you have to get 25 charms. And this thing is going to cost you roughly about $50 to get 12 charms. So that's like $100, guys, to guarantee you this tank. But is it worth it? Well, I'm not here to tell you I have to spend your hard-earned cash, but if it was me... No. <laughs> Why do I say that? Okay. It's a pretty mediocre tank. It's a tank destroyer for one, and it's also a fixed casemate. And the thing is, the gun movement, left and right, isn't that great. The depression absolutely sucks. Okay, it's got a good reload, it's got a pretty decent gun, and it got a pretty decent amount of damage, but it hasn't really got any armor. Not really, not when you come to think about it. And it's slow, and it's cumbersome, and it's not one of those tanks that you can stick anywhere. It's a very situational type of tank. Ah, but Fujit, you small and underrated YouTuber who also happens to be a CC and can't be trusted, you are rolling out on the darn thing. Ah, but contrived argument. This is not on my main account. This is on my press account. Two different things. And, if truth be known, I'm not overly eager to spend a shed load of cash in the vain attempt at getting it. Especially now I've played it, because it is pretty mediocre. And there are far, far better tanks already in tier 8 that, you know, do the job that this tank is designed to do, albeit slightly better. I'm thinking the SU-130PM, the Scorpion G, I mean, even the thinking along the lines of the Chrysler K. I mean, why would you need this tank? I'm a tank collector, and even I am not going to be rushing out to get this darn thing. Yes, it dishes out a pretty decent amount of damage. Yeah, it's a bit of fun. But you know what? This is probably going to collect more dust in my garage than the VK-168, if the truth be known. And I hate that tank, the VK-168. Yeah! The tank I roll out every now and then when Mad Games Uprising and the like come about because it's good fun to ram him. But what is it about this tank? Well, had this tank come out for gold, my argument would have been a bit different, but it's not gold. And it's charms and it's real life cash. And that beggars a problem for me. This tank is nothing special, far, far from it. Now a lot of you out there bemoan the turtle. Yeah! A tank that I particularly like. Well, there is a difference between that tank and this tank. Well, that tank, albeit slow and cumbersome as well, can give you a little bit of fun. This one's pretty much in the same vein. And tell, I'm telling you now, guys, if you hated the turtle, you're not going to like this one. Believe me. You, you're really not. Now, I like the turtle because uh, it's got gun depression, okay, and it's got an insane reload, and it's pretty funky. This has got zero gun depression. This has got a pants armor profile. Yes, of course, you'll bounce. You saw me bouncing earlier. But any player worth their salt is going to pen you, you know, every day of the week and twice on Sundays. And believe me, you're not going to have fun in this thing. You're going to be more frustrated than happy. And therein lies my problem. This is in cash crates. There's no guarantee you're going to get it. The drop chance is, what, 5%? So the only way you are guaranteed this tank is if you spend a shed load of cash. Something I would absolutely recommend you do not do. I would seriously recommend, wait, resist the temptation to get this into your garage immediately. 
and just hold fire. It'll come around again, and believe me, you're not missing anything special. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been my quick take on the TS5. Oh my god, another crate tank. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, remember guys, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.